the best way to enhance the safety of your premise, your property, or even your house is by installing a surveillance system. This one enables you to have to view lively what is happening in your workplace, in your home. That's why I will be taking you through CCTV surveillance system installation. And the CCTV stands for closed circuit television. We had covered this in the part one. If you haven't checked, please check in the in the playlist there. The reasons why we we do this or the benefits we we talk of crime deterrence, uh, evidence collection, among others. I'll be taking you through also the materials and tools that we need. So we have the obvious or the main component like the CCTV cameras, the video recorders, be it the DVR or NVR, depending on the system uh, type. We have the the monitoring uh, points like the, you can have a screen, TV screen, a tablet, a smartphone in that manner. We have a storage device which also stores our feed if you want to review a feed or you have to ensure to, to store the evidence very important in addition we also have other commandments like the cable enclosures the trunks the conduit and also the cable and accessory when we say accessory we mean other accompaniment that comes with the cable like if you're talking of commercial cable you need uh, accessories like a uh, bnc connector if you're talking of an ethernet cable then you'll need accessories like rg45 clips those are ones that make it even more effective and functional to you we also have other important uh, uh, materials or components like uh, the power over ethernet switch for the ip system and the router for amplifying uh, the footage for even remote access uh, we have the uh, power adapter and such protector for the system remember it, uh, you have to protect it against uh, electric uh, faults and uh, in that manner and then uh, let's take you through the process so it all starts with the site assessment and planning then from there uh, you'll proceed to equipment selection. So while you're planning, you'll check for vulnerable points, entry point, high traffic zones. Those are places you need to identify as a point of where you place your uh, cameras. Then from there, check also the lighting condition, check the planning. Eh? So uh, how many cameras do you need? And uh, if it's indoors, what kind of cameras are you? Of course, we recommend the indoors camera. If it's outdoor, then we recommend use outdoor cameras like the bu bullet camera, the PTZ for the outdoor uh, purposes. Remember, you also need to consider environmental factors like the weather condition and that. Uh, not all cameras work the same way. Then we will go for the, uh, after you have selected, you need to mount now the camera. This is now the installation process starting over. You mount the, pro uh, the cameras to the respective zones as you had identified. Then you proceed with wiring. Of course, you connect the if it's coaxial cable for the analog or if it's the Ethernet for the IP cameras, connect it down to the DVR or MVR in the respective monitoring station. If it's in your bedroom, if it's in a control, maybe in a company, is in a control room, or that. So, the wiring that's the cable laying through the cable enclosures, make sure it's, it looks neat and also make sure that it's uh, not visible and not also reachable to the person who might have wrong intention for this but for also for easy maintenance make sure that whenever a technician wants to do the maintenance he can access your wiring as well as your wiring diagram it will be important and then we also talk of uh, connecting out the dvr to the power plugging in the dvr or the nvr to the power and any other company like in the monitor if you're doing the uh, the, the direct uh, viewing of the feed then you need a monitor also power it on if you're doing the remote then you need to power on your router and also the if you're using the nvr you need to power other 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 other, other uh, component like the power of ethernet then it will power the camera so on. system configuration very important ensure that while now you're setting up the feed uh, you change the zones label them according to the uh, zones as you had don't now leave the be camera one or footage one let it be kitchen view uh, the outer lo uh, launch maybe the uh, the lawn side or the 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 backyard in that manner then testing the feed in this case good to check how the video uh, uh, resolution and all that in your monitor this one also helps you to adjust the cameras to get the feed to the point that you needed to focus on uh, very important once you're done with that the procedure ends there you indicate the use the user 
this is the wiring diagram for simple in this case this is an analog system but i'm using a hybrid dvr the one that has also capability to view remotely but it will get analog signal as you can see here the, the bullet and dome cameras getting its power from the power supply and then feeding it to the to the dvr via quasho cable and then we have down the uh, the ip system here as you can see the cameras ip cameras feeding it to the nvr uh, via the poe switch that is uh, the router uh, we also need to take you through legal cons consideration for the cctv data protection very important warning signage is always good to alert with people and avoid cameras in private spaces like in your bedroom your bathroom even in hotel rooms eh? You do it on the corridors but not inside the rooms very very and if you're doing in the in the rooms then not for the client and I will, I'll, i'm so sure you'll get few clients in your hotel the the legal compliance is a very critical thing that we need to focus we as the engineers as well as the client who wants to install this place maintenance tip check for the camera lens if you don't get a visible footage check for the backup recordings especially uh, check also for the for the remote if you can access your footage remotely make sure you co you, you, co you confirm that for the nvr and dvr is good to also update the firmware as uh, things change thank you for your time uh, see you in the next uh, video that i'll be making and this video will be on alarm system